the emotion of camera movement next here on the Slide and Lens. Let's get started and see what we can do. Uh, maybe we should hold off and get started. So let's take a look at camera moves. You know, camera moves can add or subtract from the emotion of what's going on in the scene. So we're going to analyze how to do different moves and create emotion with those moves. It's important that the movement is in relationship to something that's happening in the scene. It can't just be movement for movement's sake, or it just feels unmotivated and it really doesn't help strengthen the story. We want camera moves that create emotion and strengthen the story. It's really important to note that the actor, the way they're dressed, the action that they're doing, and the music that we're hearing will have a lot to do with the emotion that we're feeling and can very much overpower the camera move. But the camera move can have its own narrative and it can also emphasize exactly what you're seeing with your actor, your music, the action on screen. When those all get together, it gives you a very strong story that really communicates in the way it ought to. We're using all Edelchrome products today. We've got the Edelchrome Jib 1, which is a great jib arm that's automated. In a lot of ways, it acts like a slider as well, depending on the different position that you put it in. But on that, we've got the uh, Head Plus. Those two working together make it very simple because you simply put it where you want it to be, push the app, and that becomes your first point. Move it to the second point, set the second point on your app, and now you can just go back and forth between those two points without any problem. It goes from a horizontal move to a, a diagonal move to just a straight in move as well. So it has different, like nine different positions to be able to change the angle, whether you want to dutch it, whether you want to come up or go straight in. It has nine different angles to be able to set to be able to make that happen. So today we're going to use that to be able to get the shots that we want to communicate our story. If you want to see this story, go over to Instagram. We'll have it on our Instagram the day this post is a lesson. So let's take a look at some camera moves and see how they communicate the emotion that we want to communicate in our little story about a lady who's planting flowers. First move is kind of a jib in, kind of a drop in to the scene. I'm going to let it pass by her face because I kind of want to give us a sense that she, who she is, but I don't want to reveal her too much yet. But we really focus on the gloves and putting her gloves on, then she stretches her fingers like she's about to go out and go to work in her garden. So this really gives me, and I want it to be fairly slow because we're just kind of, it's very methodical now. We want to get a sense that she's very calculated, she's very methodical, and that she's getting herself ready to go out into the garden to work. So that's that slow jib arm in, dropping us into the scene to introduce our character. This next shot is a parallel move. We're gonna just let the camera kind of swing around her as she's digging. It's just to establish the fact that she's digging and to keep that digging in the middle of the frame. I don't wanna just go by in a dolly shot because a dolly shot just moves in and out and it feels like we're leaving the action. I don't wanna leave the action. This is to set me up for my next shot because I want that swing around. And as I swing around, I'm staying with her because now I'm gonna pull back into several moves back where the camera slowly creeps out and shows the dirt starting to, to build. So I want to stay on the digging because it's going to move me to the next shot and start to build that emotion that the next shot's going to have as we slowly creep out and we see the pile of dirt get larger. So that little parallax move, nice setup. In this move, I'm going to do a series of three slow pullouts. When you sit on something and pull away from it slightly, it gives a, the audience a couple of emotions that start to happen. One is you're telling them, look at this, I want you to look at it longer. It can give them the sense of abandonment, like you're leaving this person. And I kind of want that feeling like we're kind of leaving them and they're doing their thing as we kind of pull away and we're kind of divorcing ourselves from the situation. And as we do those three pullbacks, we'll just slowly get, they'll become more and more distance and less and less uh, connected to them as we move away. So this is the third in our three shots as we pull away from her. And we put these dead sticks in here, verticals. Verticals give you a sense of movement. You have to be moving past verticals. You have to be moving away from verticals or otherwise your frame's not very alive. So adding these two verticals just allows us to come through them, it feels like, and gives us a sense of movement. So that's our last and our three shots as we move away and the pile gets deeper. So this move, I've got just a little, it's basically a dolly shot or a slider shot. I'm just gonna pan across with her. But the idea is I wanna stay in front of her just a little bit so that we don't really see what's happening until she brings the body in. So it's starting to create a little bit of anticipation, like what is going on? What's she doing? We don't really see what's happening until as the camera slows down, the body comes into the frame, we see it. So it's meant to be a little bit of a reveal and to change the emotion of the scene. Like she could be pulling a bag of fertilizer or pulling a wheelbarrow or, you know, who knows, but we realize it's a body as she pulls it across. So it's just kind of coming across. So that, that's the that whole idea. So change the emotion when we do the reveal on the body. 
For this shot, I'm just gonna do a little flyaway. That flyaway is just a matter of revealing something, something that you put either on a table, or something you put, in this case, on the ground. You see just the final moments as she covers up the plastic bag and it's getting buried below. So it's just a nice little flyaway. I don't know that it evokes a lot of emotion other than it just establishes the fact that she's finished her job. The last little bit of dirt goes on the plastic bag. It gives us a sense that that's finishing up the job and that's really what that shot's meant to do. So it moves our story forward, doesn't necessarily evoke any kind of emotion other than it might feel a little weird like, oh, there's the last bit of dirt going on uh, that person's face, I guess. For this shot, I'm going to have Felicia pour in the water and the camera's on a 45 degree angle. So it's not level, it's on a 45 degree angle. It's going to come up. So it's a nice camera move to kind of start on the can of water and pan into showing us where she's watering, where she's finished her work. It's not really about emotion as much as it's a nice camera move to show us that she's finished her work and she's done and she's watering for the next uh, element to happen. You know, what's the next step that's going to happen after you water? Well, plants are going to probably come up. So this is called a look away. The camera's just going to drift away from our subject and just start, start, it kind of looks away. Now it can be used a couple different ways. It can be just like the camera's lost interest in what's going on. Hitchcock used it to show when something bad was going to happen. You're like, you knew the knife was about to happen, but the camera just looks away and you don't see it. You know, but you know what's going on because there's enough time that you realize that that's what's happening there. It doesn't cut because the minute you cut, you don't know if it happened, but if it looks away, you realize there's enough time going on there that it did end, it finished, whatever action was going on. For us here, we're doing this look away as just a look into the sunflowers to realize what's been going on this whole time. It really is the payoff for the entire piece that we've shot here. This look away becomes the button, the emphasis, the exclamation point on the piece. So, little look away to finish our piece. You know, when all those work together, when you've got great camera moves that really accentuate and direct the emotion that the actors are already giving and the scene is already giving to you, now when those are all in concert, when that dances together, it's a really fabulous uh, piece of art. It truly is. And that's the goal. You want the camera to be telling you the same thing the actors and, and the scene are telling you. I mean, each of these can really change by how fast the camera moves. Like if we push in hard, this was a very deliberate, slow look at camera uh, moves and camera emotion because it was that was our story. It was meant to be that kind of Sunday afternoon, planting, digging up, burying, and then there's our final story. So if you want to see this, go to Instagram, uh, the Slanted Lens, look at our Instagram. This story will be posted the same day that this video comes out. And also, we want to give a, a special shout out and a thanks to all of our patrons that are going over to our patron page and they're involved with us there, part of our family there. We're loving that experience. We'd like to also thank Elkrone. This Jib One is a fabulous piece of equipment, just easy to use. You know, the, we really push the limits of this, being out in this kind of narrative, large narrative uh, type of scene, and it works there, and it would work even more effectively on set with small products and things. It'd just be a great way to work, or anytime you're with an, a person in an intimate kind of setting, just a great jib and a great way to work. It gives you kind of the, the sense of a jib and a slider, so check that out over at Edelkrone, or check it at Sammy's. We've got it at Sammy's here. You can pick it up there. So keep those cameras rolling. And keep on clicking. Yeah. <laughs>